those heroes and I'm gonna be honest with y'all the art style alone has piqued my interest honestly when your game looks this good the waifus in this game I mean Jesus they got some uh, they got some plot to them let's just leave it at that if you're looking for a game where you're trying to find love for the first time I guess look no further than Exo's heroes how much hype there is behind and how great it looks I couldn't not put it on this list Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Tectome's very first sponsored video. Now, have I been offered to do other sponsored videos? Oh, f yeah, I have. Finally, a game that I believe to be very good has actually reached out to me and said, Hey, Tectone, would you mind taking a look at our game, bud? We'd, uh, we'd greatly appreciate. Here's some, uh, here's some compensation for your time. But here's what we're gonna do, gamers. I've been delving into this game for the past two or three days, and so far, no complaints. So I wanna give a brief overview of the entire game of Exos Heroes. And once again, this is sponsored by Lion Games. And let's go talk about some Exos Heroes, huh? So the first thing, let's just get this shit out of the way. This is a turn-based gotcha RPG game. Now, a lot of people already red flags going off in their head because there is so many other gotcha RPG games with one common similarity. They take so much goddamn time. There is so much of a chore to play them. Oh, you better min-max your giant runs. Oh, you better min-max your necropolis runs every three minutes. You better press the refresh button. Otherwise, you're playing horribly. Dude, the one thing that I appreciate about this game so far is, well, besides, you know, what's coming later, the waifus. But for right now, man, this game feels so stress-free. It's really nice. Like, when you beat something, you can just auto-repeat it, which is super nice. And the best thing is, if you just chill out here, the game will go into battery saving mode. It will just go idle. So not only does the game consider your time by giving you auto-repeat functions, but it also saves the battery time of your phone. And that's gonna save your phone power and also data. Dude, not everybody has an infinite 4G no data plan. So this shit definitely takes the care of the consumer and puts that in the forefront. The next thing is, there's also idle features. Like for example, there's an adventure mode. And that's the main point of, um, of playing the game is like exploring and getting free shit. Look at this right here. Smart exploration. Log out from the game and explore. Dog, that is so nice. I can press this shit. This shit would minimize and it would play when I'm not even online, when I don't even have it up. But for now, I can just press explore and we'll go around, whoop de doo Hey, mom, no hands. And it plays, you for, it plays it for you and that's so nice. Next up, dude, everybody knows. Gotcha RPG hero collectors. Ain't nobody gonna play them if the heroes are dog shit. Thankfully, this game looks real good, man. And I don't know what's up with the emulators, but my emulator cannot do this game justice for how truly beautiful it actually looks on my phone. So you are getting a scuffed version, 100%. But so far, the characters look pretty, pretty damn good. We're gonna go over some right now. Obviously, you know, the girl, you know, they, they, she looks very healthy. She looks very healthy, but it's nice because the majority of these games make the girls look super hot. Thankfully, they make the dudes super hot too. Now look, I'm a happily married man, but I know how to, uh, dude, look, I know how to recognize it when somebody looks, you know, looks pretty good, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you, okay? Just because I got a ring on my finger does not mean that I cannot, uh, uh, you know, that I cannot recognize beauty. Holy shit, <laughs> right? It's pretty damn nice. And dog, these are the scuffed heroes. Just wait till I pull a five star, which brings me into a beautiful segue. The summoning. Oh, Jesus. I mean, you know, you know, you, you, there's a lot to appreciate in this game. Okay. There's a lot to appreciate. And you might be saying, Tectone, you know, can you relax for two seconds? Dude, it's just nice. Okay. From the games that I've been playing, fan service has not been too, you know, it hasn't been there. But for this game, it's like, oh, you want fan service? <laughs> there you go, dude. It's so, it's so in your face. It's so in your face. All right, give me something good, please, okay? Give me something good. There we go. Holy shit. The moment I take a drink, someone good. 
Nice. Why aren't you a girl? Whatever, dude. Baleish. Baleish. I don't know how you say that dude's name. That guy, that guy looks slick, man. Two five stars back to back? Holy sh... Thank God. Okay. Yo, I don't give a shit about that first dude. This girl? Kawaii. Kawaii. Anastasia. One of my favorite names. Beautiful. Holy shit. Her hand is massive. My God. Dude, Kawaii. All right, we're going to check out what she does right now. Dude, double five star. One temple. That's actually kind of nutty. Skill previews. Okay, this is kind of sick. All right. So we're going to fight this little robot. Hey, those animations, dude. You can't tell me that's not Kawaii as shit. Okay. All right. Let's check out the first animation. If there is one thing to appreciate about this game, it's how much love and care goes into every single... Hey, Anastasia kind of a bad bitch. <laughs> okay. That's pretty nice, dude. That's pretty nice. All right, what else you got? Okay. All right, that's probably like a heal or some shit. I have no idea what that ability does. Okay, let's see. So you do a little shadow ball. All right, that's fine. I'm assuming this is your passive. And then this shit, negotiation breakdown. Okay, that's kind of sick, man. Every ability looks so gangster. Okay, callous servant. Holy shit. Okay, that's a mad creepy, dude. <laughs> nice. Okay, right on. There's one more character I want to try out. Let's just see. Like, if you make a character this absurdly hot, I mean, like, absurdly hot. You better have some... You better have her do some dope-ass shit. Okay. First looks good. Passive, I'm assuming. Let's check it out. Shining Boomerang. Yeah, that's kind of nuts, right? That's kind of nuts. Next, Chain Slicer. Oh, my God. The angles. And the slow motion, man. It's good. That's good. <laughs> Imagine you do that ability and you have like no runes or armor on. It's like 30 seconds for the animation and then it does like 10 damage. <laughs> uh, but it's, gonna, it's definitely going to feel good when you have them geared up. So the last thing that we're going to talk about is like the ease of use and the combat, okay? So generally, if you don't know what you need to do, dog, you can just click a button and it'll be like, okay, you go do this. And you can just waddle over. I could control all the movement of all my characters here, but dog, ain't nobody got time for that, okay? I want to press the buttons. I want to get my loot. I want to get out of here. Yes, auto is unlocked super early, which I greatly appreciate for, you know, games. There is story. Dog, I don't read, okay? We had Ian. I heard it was good. Dog, I don't read, okay? That ain't me. You want to see somebody read? Hey, you go play. You, you enjoy that shit, okay? So I'm going to show you the full-on combat now. And then I'm gonna show you one of the best features in this entire game, in my opinion, especially for people who have busy uh, schedules. So we're gonna have this on auto once again. This shit gets unlocked mad early, and you can times to it. Thank God, dude. Like I don't know what some of these mobile game devs are thinking, but like, dog, ain't nobody got time to manual this shit all the time. Now, if you want to, you can. You totally can. But even with the flashy animations, they still feel good, but they don't feel like a burden, right? They don't feel like a burden. It still feels like there is some amount of like an epic battle going on, which is really nice, but it's not gonna chap you like 15 minutes to do a battle. Nah, dude, just press the auto button, hit the times too, let it go. The AI is actually pretty damn smart too, which is pretty damn nice. I've yet to, well, I've lost a couple battles because well, you know, I need to upgrade my gear. But other than that, looks good, man, looks good. Battle like that. Easy peasy. Obviously, if the fight was harder, it would have lasted longer. But here's my favorite part. And by the way, can you just appreciate how nice that looked? And that's, you know, sometimes it's missing in some of these mobile games. The, the, the fights, they just feel so forgotten. But for that entire thing, it felt very good. When you beat something, you can go right here to quick battle. See battle results immediately without fighting them. Press start. You get your awards. Dog, is that easy? Like, why is that not in every game? Like, why is that not an option? Like, if I want to farm, and I don't have the time to farm, I just press quick battle. And then it's done. It's nice. This is truly a game of convenience, and I greatly appreciate that. Line Games, thank you for sponsoring this video, supporting my channel. If you want to download this game, it is in the link in the description below. And I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. I've been Tecton, y'all been great. Hope y'all are having a damn good one. Peace!